Carl, the transfer window's open and you've been quick off the mark. Are you expecting others to follow? Um, no. I think we need to know what's going on. There's six players that I want to bring in, and I know probably four of them will walk in this door tomorrow if they could. I, I want to get promoted. That's what I want. And we will. We would have. Definitely. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Chol and Athletic video where today we are going to be talking about something that is very, very important in regards of Cholton season going forward and that is the January transfer window or as I like to call it for Cholton this season, just January. Now the reason I say that is because we are not, it doesn't look like we're going to make any more signings beyond Steffi Mavadidi's loan signing which was already a done deal quite a while ago. Well a lot of people are saying yeah we could have told you that, you know, they, ne they never invest in us these uh, owners and I, I don't think it's actually that this time I don't think that's the reason why we're not going to get anyone in January it's not a lack of investment it's because as we all know Mayor has left she's now gone to Sheffield Wednesday and Duchatelle has finally come out and told us like I said from the horse's mouth that he is looking to sell Charlton Athletic. So in some ways, it's not the wrong, it's not for the wrong reasons that we're not going to be able to sign anyone in January. It's actually for the right reasons because they're finally selling up. So it's a mixed bag of emotions for me, this situation. It's, a, it's good in some ways because we know that there is an impeding, uh, an imp a pending sort of takeover. It's on the cards. It's going to happen up most likely very soon. Um, the only negative is let's get it done like now so that we can actually get it all turned around, all sorted out, and we can actually get a budget for January so we can actually not have to write this season off with the sort of injury hit squad that we've got and also you know it'd be so annoying if we get the investment like I don't know mid-February and it's like okay if this happened like two three weeks earlier then we could have at least signed a couple of players but it looks like at the moment the deal for whatever reason this is a topic for another video another day is not done yet there's something that's sort of restraining the deal I don't know who the party that is definitely you know the the the, the forefront party who's definitely going to buy us don't know who that is could be the Australians could be the Chinese I don't know I don't think anyone really knows but what we do know is that the deal there's some sort of misvaluation or you know something there's a stumbling block there behind the scenes and it's not getting done now for people like me and you who are maybe season ticket holders you know people who invest money into the club on a, on a yearly basis you know go to the matches buy the merch uh, buy food at the stadium all the rest of it you know put Cholton out on social media and all the rest of it. It's frustrating because as soon as the January transfer window shuts and we haven't been taken over yet, it's like, oh, okay, so we pretty much know this season's more or less a write-off because our squad's just not big enough. Uh, by the way, which was something that was kind of addressable in the summer. Yes, we have been hit by injuries, but we could have had a few more players, you know, in certain positions instead of your Joe Dodu. Uh, you know, one hour before the transfer window closes in the summer sort of deals. We could have had better than that. We really could. And so it's kind of mistakes creeping up from the summer, but also the big issue of the takeover. So the only thing that we can hope for as Cholton fans is that this deal gets done in the next week. You know, we want it to be done at the beginning, you know, in the first half of January or at least before, say, the 20th. So we've got like 10 days. Carl Robinson has been quoted as saying he has six players, four of which would walk through the door tomorrow if they could, if the funds were there. So we know what the problem is. Carl's worn it on his sleeve. He's been very transparent with us. He's become a bit of a scapegoat. You know, a lot of fans getting on his back. I don't personally believe in that, but you know, it's interesting to hear the sort of diversity of Cholton fans' opinions on the situation. For me, I see it this way. The deal's going to be done at some point before the end of the season. Once it does, we're either going to keep Carl or we're going to lose Carl. I hope that we keep him we're going to get hopefully a budget in place depending on who takes us over and we will be able to celebrate having the valley back don't know if douche is going to own the stadium there's all different details that are emerging all we need is that official cholton tweet to tell us what's going on but i'm going to stop stop rambling now about this situation i'm going to leave it to you in the comments to let me know what do you think in terms of the following two things first of all do you think that we're going to be able to sign anyone in January? A, if we do sell, and B, if we don't sell. I don't think we are going to be able to get anyone in if we don't sell, because as Carl Robinson eloquently put it... It's almost like, would you buy a girlfriend the presents if you were going to split up with her? <laughs> <laughs>
Exactly. And the second thing I want to know from you is, are we going to have a good person take us over? So having a look at the sort of Australian consortium, I hope they don't make us like a farm for Australian players. Um, it depends what these new owners' intentions are. It depends if Dushutelli still has a sort of hold on the club in terms of ownership of certain land or certain assets. And yeah, just let me know what you think and what you would prefer in terms of our takeover. So. We've got Mavididi, we've got a game tomorrow which I will be vlogging. No, it's actually Oldham, I just checked on me old Sky Sports app. So we are playing Oldham tomorrow, I will be vlogging it like I said. Then I will also be going to the next two away days at Black uh, Berry, not Shrewsbury though, and then I will be going to Blackpool. So, there's exciting times ahead for Cholton. The rest of this season, will that be exciting? There's only one way that that's going to be able to happen and I think that's through a takeover as I've made very clear I think in this video so leave all your comments down below thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next Cholton video and sweet Boom.